Hello everyone. Welcome to Emma Subtip webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to create mail enabled security group in Exchange Online. A security group is used to assign permission to a set of users to grant access to things such as to a SharePoint site, web pages, an entire SharePoint list or document library or even just some files. If you are using synchronized identity through the Active Directory, the security group is also used to assign permissions to users in the Active Directory. If you mail enabled the security group, we can distribute email to all members to that group as well. To create a new mail enabled security group, we will use Exchange Admin Center. To do so, open your favorite web browser and type in the URL https colon double slash admin dot exchange dot microsoft dot com and press enter key. Enter the email address of your administrator which is cladmin at clarex dot on microsoft dot com in my case. Let's click on next. Let's enter user password. And I'm going to click on sign in. In the action judgment center, under recipients, we need to click on groups. To create a new mail enabled security group, we need to click on mail enabled security tab. At this moment, we don't have any mail enabled security group in our exchange. To create a new group, I'm going to click on Add a Group. Here, I'm going to select Mail Enabled a Security Group Type. We can see the description sends a message to all members of the group and give access to resources like OneDrive, SharePoint, and Admin Tools. Click Next. Enter the name and description for this group. I'm giving name editors and I'm not going to add description. Let's click on next. Enter the email address for this group. Now I'm going to specify editor again. In our case, our group email address is going to be editors at clarex.onmicrosoft.com. Under communication, we have option to allow people outside of our organization to send email to this group. You can select this checkbox based on your requirement. Since this is a taste environment, I'm not going to select that. And since this is a security group, we want that owner approval is required to join to this group. And that's why I'm going to select this checkbox. Require owner approval to join the group. Click on next. Verify all the details and if it is okay with you, then click on create group. In our case, group type is mail enabled security. A name is editor. Email address is going to be editors at clarex.onmicrosoft.com. Communication is disabled and owner approval is required. Now I'm going to click on create group and let's wait for a few seconds. The group has been created successfully. Now we can see the confirmation message. Uh, sometimes it can take up to an hour for the group to appear in your group list. I'm going to click on close. On the mail enable security tab, we can see our group is listed there, editors, and the email address is there, editors at clarex.onmicrosoft.com. Uh, next, we will manually add few members to this uh, security group. And for that, uh, I'm going to click on our group name. And let's click on members tab. Uh, owner is there. Uh, this is the administrator account, cladmin at clarex.onmicrosoft.com. Uh, under members, as we can see, it is zero. That means we haven't added any user as a member to this security group. So to add a member to this uh, mail enabled security group, I'm going to click on view and uh, manage members. Click on add members. Select users, groups or other resources you want to add to this uh, security group. Uh, here I'm going to select our uh, user, John Nadar and uh, Rahul Adani 
as a member to this mail enabled security group let's click on add perfect settings has been saved successfully let's go back and under members so we can confirm that both users john nadar and rahul adani is listed as a member of this mail enabled security group now we will send a text message to our mail enabled security group and then later we will check by accessing the mailbox of our user rahul adani that whether that user has received a copy of that message or not so now i'm going to close it and uh, let's click on app launcher i click on outlook open in a new tab now we are accessing the mailbox of our administrator manhar rakhulia click on new message to compose a new message uh here i'm going to enter the email address of our group which is uh, let me copy it this is email address and that's under the email address here editors at clarex.onmicrosoft.com that's at subject after composing the message a click on send button to send the message Let's click on send items to confirm that we have sent the message to our mail enabled security group editors. Now I'm going to open new private tab and in that we are going to access the mailbox of a user Rahul Adan. Click on new in private window. Enter the URL https colon double slash outlook dot office dot com. Let's enter the email address of a user Rahul Adani. In my case, it is Rahul A at Clarex dot on Microsoft dot com, and click on Next. Let's enter the password and click on Sign In. And here we can see the message in inbox. which was sent by our administrator manhar rakhulia to mail enabled security group name editors let's click on it we can see this message is sent by our admin to editors hello everyone this is a test message since our user rahul adani is member of that mail enabled security group he is receiving copy of that message sent to mail enabled security group That concludes the video on how to create mail enabled security group in Exchange Online using Exchange Admin Center web interface. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day.